Hi students, welcome back. So in this video, I want to explain you some declaration rules to a source file. So every student is getting some doubts. So uh, my program is not compiling and my program is not running because of some silly silly mistakes. Means uh, while declaring, while saving the files, uh, we will use the different names. Okay. Sometimes we need to use the same name, whatever the class name is given. So I'll explain here. Suppose the first rule. Source file can have only one public class. So whatever the source file is there, in that source file uh, that have only one public class should be there. Means uh, before the class there should be a public should be declared. Okay. So source file can have only one public class. Source file means what? It's nothing but the file that you saved. Suppose if you have written some file in an editor and you need to save. Like suppose test.java test.java you save so this is a source file in this source file only one public class should be allowed you can't declare more than one public class only one public class and second declaration source file can have any number of classes you can write any number of classes no problem in that any number of classes and third point if source file contains public class then file name must be must with public class name only suppose here the class test.java is there and here I am using the public class. I, I declared the class as a public. So whenever I use public class, these two names should be the same. These two names should be the same. Okay, suppose if I use here the demo and here if I use the text, then you will get an error. So if source file contains a public class, then the file name must be with public class name only. So here you have to use demo.java only. You are not supposed to use the text.java. Suppose if the program public public is used. So what I said, source file contains only one public class. And source file can have any number of classes. You can write any number of classes. Without public, you can write class demo, class sample, class employee, class anything, ABC like that. Any number of classes will be there in demo.java. In demo.java, any number of classes you can write. But if it is public, you have written only one public is allowed. And the name should be the match with the source file name. Suppose if source file does not contain a public class. Suppose your source file does not contain public class. There is no public class. Then there is no naming restriction to the file. You can use any name to the source file. You can give text or you can give the student.java. You can give the lecturer.java. Anything you can give. There is no naming restrictions. Right. So these are the declaration rules to a source file. So let me show you like, okay, so test.java class demo. So is there any, uh, anything error? No, it's a valid. Here my source file is the test and my class name is the demo. So there are two different names. No problem because valid according to the fourth rule. So what is the fourth rule? So the fourth rule, it's nothing but if a source file does not contain public class, then there is no naming restriction. So here there is no public. So there is no naming restriction. So let me take another test.java public class demo. Okay. So is it valid? Is it valid? No, it's not valid. Why it's not valid? I had used only one public. So I already said according to the second rule, uh, whatever the second rule, third rule, if source file contains public class, uh, sorry, uh, yes, first rule, source file can have only one public class. Yeah, my source file is having only one public class, but still I'm saying it's not valid. Why it's not valid? It's not valid according to the third rule. What is the third rule? If source file contains public class, then the file name must be with public class name only. But here I had used the test.java. Whatever the public class name is there demo, the source file is also should be demo.java, not test.java. First rule is okay. My source file contains only one public class. But while it's the third rule, because whatever the public you declared for class, the file name should be also the demo.java only. Okay. So let me take one more example. This time test.java is my file name. My source file name. Okay. So I am using public class test. Okay. And again I am using another class. Public 
class sample is it valid no this is valid only it is valid only why because whenever i use the class uh, public the class name and the source file name should be the same this is valid only but here in a single source file there should not be two public classes okay it's not valid so the program complete becomes error the program com complete becomes error only why because two public classes are not allowed two public classes are not allowed so i am not supposed to write like that so these are all the different uh, rules still let me uh, tell you some more examples so that you'll get it by the end of this video you have to get the complete declaration rules for the source file let me take one more test.java okay so my file name is saved with the test.java class demo my class name is demo okay and here i'm using another class class sample so the starting letter of the class name should be capital letter according to our rules in representing packet starting letter of the class name should be the capital starting word so is it valid yes it is valid why because any number of classes are allowed if public is not there any number of classes or allowed if public is not there if public is not there suppose if you write here public public the class name should be the same here also demo.java you have to replace with the demo.java this is valid you can write any number of classes but only one public class is allowed okay only one public class is allowed so this is a public class name and the file name should be the same so uh, this is what the rules uh, for uh, writing the source file so i'll get, I, you get a clarity on how what are the declaration rules to a source file so when to use the class name and when to use the uh, your own name okay respect of the class name so just try to understand the rules okay so writing programs using notepad is as a beginner it's better so i'm telling in every uh, video students okay so try to run those programs in the notepad by just clicking on the right click and run as an administrator so that we can save programs anywhere if you run this uh, administrator we can save the programs in anywhere okay so i'll just clarify you how to save the programs and how to run the programs also so that you will get some clarity on that so let me take a simple example class demo public i'll tell you the public static void main means what whenever i started the object oriented programming concepts void main this string orgs you can be right right like anything so you can keep the brackets here or here any anywhere you can keep system dot out dot print ln welcome okay so in this example the string and the system the string uh, the systems or the predefined this whatever the static it's there this string whatever the string is there and the system these are all the predefined classes in java dot lang dot packages this so those those are all present in the java dot lang dot packages so you are no need to call okay so that i already said java dot language is a default package is a default package and it is implicitly imported in every java programming okay so for saving file what you are doing to save the file you are just writing the demo dot java save file okay then what you have to do you have to open the command prompt and you have to click run as administrator administrator okay so there whatever the path you have chosen wherever the programs you had uh, written just give the path of that or si simply if you are writing your folder is in c drive only so directly you can compile 
so for compiling java c demo dot java this is for compilation so whenever you compile how um, number of classes that are present in that uh, source file all classes are compiled so if you want to run the program you have to write simply java demo don't give dot java okay java demo this is to run or to execute so then you'll get an output as welcome you'll get output as welcome so both java and java c or jdk tools these two or you call it as a jdk tools okay and all the jdk tools are the part of the bin folder these all tools will be present in the bin folder in your when you install the java you can see the bin folder so all this will be uh, stored in the bin folder thank you